What's going on, folks? My name is Alex Lexis. Um, I run a podcast with my friend Nelson Rios of Fighting Game League. And, um, you know, ordinarily I do video game reviews and things of that nature. Those of you who know me on the personal side, I'm also known as Alex Lexis ZX Ninja, a motorcyclist from New Jersey. Been riding for about this, going into season number three next year. Um, currently on uh, military pass, so I just wanted to, uh, you know, get, share my thoughts on something that happened while I was on, on duty, and, uh, you know, shout out to Let's Ride, uh, that's, those are my, my brethren, uh, my motorcycle brothers and sisters, um, to Rough Riders and the rest of the crew out, out on their twos, you know, I just wanted to say hello. And uh, give my two cents on what uh, transpired this this past week. Now everybody already knows SUV versus bikers, so I'm not gonna go through all the the, the blubber uh, layers. But I just want to get to um, something that's that's bugging me with the media. The media, I guess in general, it, it, I think it's the cool thing to do to blame the writers all of a sudden and we're part of gangs and whatnot. One thing that folks in the media have to realize is those of us who do ride motorcycles come from all walks of life. Okay, That's the first thing. I am in the United States military on active duty. Does that make me a gang member or somebody that would act out of sorts? No. You got a lot of bankers, doctors, people who do so many different things, just like uh, vehicle drivers, you know, you, you, I think they're trying to label us as like wild and and um, disruptive on the road. And I, I just want to make sure that the media is not um, stirring up something that they don't understand. Like if you're not a motorcycle rider, they probably would not understand the reaction uh, of the riders because, OK, first things first trying to understand what the reaction from the riders on that ride um, did. Okay, there was an incident. Now, I, was, I saw a video on Facebook um, stating that there was something that happened before we saw the video recorded. So I'm assuming that uh, things were, it was like a cat and mouse thing prior to. Now going to the brake checking incident, it, it's it's almost as if okay, I, I just I'll say some names: Newman, Naya, Clarence, Steve, couple of guys that I ride with you when we go to Bear Mountain. It's like okay, when we're on the road, we're going on either the Parkway or Skyline Drive or whatnot. When motorcyclists are together, other drivers will come kind of have common sense to kind of move out of the way or stay clear of us. You know what I mean? That's why it's good to prop, um, practice proper decorum and stay in your formations and st keep it tight. But to me, it was kind of odd that you had an SUV in the middle of all of that. And I think it's being portrayed that, oh, it was intentional that they were targeting this SUV. Like, yeah, they're going to swarm them. Believe it or not, folks, when we're riding, we can care less about you know, uh, swarming or harassing any vehicle. And I don't think that was the intended purpose w uh, with what what happened. I'm just uh, saying that, okay, maybe the driver should have been uh, aware. And I know if it were me, because it's, it's happened to me, where I had bikers around me, I just slowed down. I'm like, hey, let them go. Let them go. Uh, like... At times we go to Bear Mountain and we're going up the road, sometimes some of the vehicles will move out of the way. Especially if we're on Meadow Road over at Seven Lakes and whatnot. You'll see us going up, doing our thing. You'll see the drivers actually give way and let us, you know, stay clear of us. So, I mean, some drivers are aware of us. And then some would exercise common sense. Now, on the flip side, if some of the riders are acting like jackasses and whatnot, I mean, it still it still doesn't make it okay, and it still doesn't mean that 
a person like Alexei and Lean should get away with what he did. First of all, he left the scene of an accident. And then, you know, you're looking at uh, a fact where I guess the writers were so emotionally charged and probably were fearing the fact that the guy would flee. Now, you can ask Newman. One time, we were going up on the Garden State Parkway. I got cut off. And the woman didn't even look my way. And she saw the formation. And we're going up. And they're like, hey, Alex, you all right? I'm like, I got cut the hell off. I could have fallen off that bike. And she would have took off. And then my family had to scrape me off the damn road. So drivers. And this, this is me as a driver and a rider. I know oftentimes that people can get complacent and not pay attention to what's around them. And that's where, you know, I, I, I'm kind of dinging the driver on. But then as motorcyclists, hey, you know what? Don't give them any reason or give any position to, to end up in a confrontation like this. If When that woman cut me off, what I did, I, 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 I healed back. I'm like, let her stupid ass go. And then I went about my business. You know what I mean? My heart was in my damn neck. Pulses, and I, I, I was, I lost my wit, and I'm like, man, you know what? I'm on a motorcycle. She can hit me and probably take fender bender damage. But I get hit or whatever. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sailing. The risk for death and serious injury are a lot higher, and that's the risk we take, even jumping on a motorcycle. But it's just that drivers and motorcyclists alike have to respect each other, and we have to share the road. It's not like they have designated roads unless you go to the track for, for motorcycles. But come on. What's, what's bugging me about Commissioner Kelly is it seems as if if it was a car-to-car -car accident and somebody fled the scene, automatic. Oh, yeah, he's going to be charged with leaving the scene of the, the, an accident. But it's almost as if, oh, further investigation. The dude hit somebody, ran over uh, two other individuals and took off. Oh, yeah, well, uh, it's different because, you know, there was a mob of uh, motorcyclists around him. He did the crime. He hit somebody and fled. So, by default, he, he should be facing hit and, and hit and run. And the fact that he ran over um, James, uh, Maisie like that, I mean, that that's... What's there to talk about? There's video evidence showing that. Now, a lot is just hearsay, and we know other writers do have footage, but they don't want to get involved with the whole investigation. Hey, protect yourself. I understand, but some of you should come forward to kind of clear this up because it's it's now we're being painted in a negative light. You know, it's just unfortunate. Now, from if you were the, the father with your, your your child and wife in the car, I can understand where he's coming from. I understand that he felt threatened. But I believe on both ends, from the motorcyclist and the driver, things were just handled incorrectly. Now, if... Now, we don't know. I, I'm just going by what I'm, I'm seeing in the video because I went frame by frame. I mean... I'm looking at the guy like, what the hell are you doing? Okay, you're in the middle of all that. The only vehicle, the only vehicle. So it's like, I don't give a fuck about this formation. I'm going to do my thing. I mean, you see bikes out there, just let them pass. Here in New Jersey, sometimes they get state trooper escorts on the turnpike and the parkway. You know what I mean? I mean, it, we stand to lose a lot more when we get hit or ran over. Or got a guy his spine broken in two places and broken legs, who was just trying to tend to somebody else. You know what I mean? The, the, so, what the SUV driver, what what folks are not understanding is he hurt people. Despite what 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 led up to it, so it's okay for me. I got rear-ended on my motorcycle, and then I can go run over a kid, and then oh yeah, let me off because I got hit by this person over here. No. The guy chose to uh, hit the pedal and drive off. People are injured. And, of course, emotions are going to run high. My mom and I was discussing this last night. It's something where you see birds in a formation. 
You see them flying in the sky and everything. We stay in unison. We're like a flock. Okay? If one of our brothers and sisters get hit, you know what I mean? Of course we're going to be upset. Of course we're going to be like, oh man, you know what? You should stop. But if, if the individual had any intent, Mr. Alexi and Lean, if you had any intent on, on doing the right thing, it wouldn't have gone that far. I wasn't on the ride, so I, I'm only giving my opinion, but I'm just looking at the fact that oftentimes drivers will do stuff and then just take off. And, and it is something that needs to be put into law where, hey, everybody should have GoPros. Protect yourself. You, you see, they do that in Russia just to, to drive. They have the dash cams where, hey, in case of an accident or something, you can use that as evidence. That's why I got a GoPro. Not just to, you know, put on YouTube or anything, but to, to make sure that, hey, you know what? It's not us. Now, there are some jackass riders out there. And you guys need to stop it because you're making it easy for them to justify us being labeled in a negative light. Now, this is not specifically pointing anyone out on that ride. But it's just, you guys got to start... I mean, if you want to do stunts or whatever in the street and make sure no vehicles are around or just do it in a controlled area. I mean, there's nothing wrong with doing sprints and taking off, doing your 100, whatever. Just make sure you're not endangering yourself and the people around you. I've even heard someone that I used to serve with um, in, in my cross-leveled unit in Queens say, man, I hate people on motorcycles. If, if, if I can run them off, I'll kill them. I'm like, wow, really? And this is before I even uh, really seriously got into writing. This was in my season one. So that's the mentality some people have. So WPIX, Fox 5, CN, CNN, C, um, CBS, you guys need to start looking at that and not the fact that, oh, yeah, look at what the, the, how the writers acted. Now, if it was a family member of yours or an intruder coming into your house, what the hell would you do? Something to think about. But, again, I know there's some folks on Let's Ride who have opinions. I know um, it, it's just, you got to look at it from, from both perspectives. So it could have been handled completely different. Completely different. Now, they're talking about putting legislation or laws to break up uh, large bike rallies and whatnot. Then you're taking away some of our rights. We have the freedom to do that. Oh, now you can't do this. Now you can't do that. It's not harming anybody. It's not harming anybody. The only people that, that uh, can cause issues are the ones who are unaware, a.k.a. the drivers, the that just don't understand how to handle themselves on the road. Now, I can tell you this, so I don't go on a long rant. When you, in New Jersey, are going for your motorcycle license, you go through the motor vehicle book, and they show you how to deal with um with vehicles but on the flip side you don't see as much like okay if you're getting your driver's license oh here are motorcycles and this is how you should maintain your distance now some may not agree with that but i think that that's something that raising awareness and say hey you know what you're driving hey there are different types of vehicles out there you know just make sure you maintain your distance and, and so on and so forth if it's on the motorcycle side on how to engage vehicles or in intersections and, and whatnot, they should put, place some bigger emphasis on the, you know, the driver's manual and saying, hey, if you're around motorcycles in large formations, you know, just try to do X, Y, Z in the third. Okay. Just let me, let me know what you guys think. I just just sharing my two cents. Um, this is not video game related, uh, New Fighting Order fans, but this is mainly for the Let's Ride, Let's Ride Now, and, uh, you know, the other motorcycle groups um, on Facebook and uh, the meetup.com. It's just, this is rather unfortunate, but I know I, I see some really uh, in the comments that are indifferent to the situation. It's just, you know, don't be assholes about it and don't say things that are just completely like out there but just look at it they were wrong on both sides okay now considering the fact that they're on the west uh, side highway and you know there are more bikes than vehicles 
I, I think if it were me in the SUV, I would have just like, okay, hey, let them pass or, you know, instead of, you know, being in the middle of that. I mean, I, I've been there. And somebody had made a comment that I wanted to directly uh, respond to. I think I had re um, did the text response, but someone said to the effect that, oh, if what, what if that were you and a whole mob of people coming and screaming and yelling at you or whatever? Guess what? I've been in that same situation. I was in Elizabeth, New Jersey. I was trying to go to military drill. It was raining. This woman was in um, a Mini Cooper. She's coming out in front of me. She's, she engaged like she's going to make a right-hand turn. So I'm going to pass, and she hooks back, and bam, T-bones her. Okay? Now she's hooting, hollering, screaming. The first thing I did, I got out of the car. I could have did like Alexi and Lean and, and took off and, and drove off. But what I did was I stopped. I got out of the car. I asked her if she was okay. I asked her if the kid was okay in the vehicle. And then called the cops. All right? Now, the cops come. And then her family decides to come. And there was a whole bunch of them coming. And they're all like, like they're going to do something. Now, if they knew what, I, you know, I've been training in, in martial combat since I was six years old. It would have been bad for somebody, plus bad for myself, but why take it there? You know what I mean? I was going to defend myself one way or another, but I said, hey, as long as they don't put their hands on me, they can yell, scream, I'm this, I'm that, or whatever. You know what I mean? As long as they don't put their hands on me or put myself or the people around me in harm's way. Until the cops came and we went about our business. That's how you're supposed to handle it. But you see the stigma that, hey, motorcyclists are, are uh, this, that, and the third. Remember, motorcyclists have families. They, they, they got loved ones and all that. So, yeah, emotions get heated. Just like that woman and her family all swarming me until the cops get there. Yeah, I was scared. Believe me. But... If, if we believe in the law so much, we should just use it. So, you, if there's somebody who said, yeah, I would have took off too. Okay, fair enough. But when Alexi and Lean did that, he then put his family in jeopardy. Because it, it, it where, whereas it might have been, oh, there's a possibility of something happening. When he took off, he guaranteed something happening. So, that that's just something, you know, you guys can respond below. I'll put, stick this on YouTube and Facebook. You know, just let me know what you think because it's it's a shame that now we're we're looking like uh, you know rowdy individuals on the road, and that's not the case. Not all riders behave the same. Not all groups have same uh, preferences. You know, let's ride. A lot of us go up to Bear Mountain, and we test our skills. We're not just like riding through the hood or the block or whatever. You know, we actually. A pure enthusiast of this 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 hobby this pastime and I would hate for all of a sudden a backlash to occur where cops are giving us a head a, a hard time and I mean you got cops who ride you got military personnel who ride I mean that right there is like damn you know they the, and and just the cops who ride should know better because you're seeing video surfacing of uh, individuals getting harassed at gas stations I mean, it's just unfortunate. But let me know what y'all think. For the new Fighting Order fans, I'll be doing my thing. I'm on military pass for a few days. And then uh, for you guys on Less Ride or just motorcyclists in general, let me know what you think. This has been Alex Alexis, a.k.a. Alex Alexis ZX Ninja. I'll see you next time. Peace.